Ho, ho, ho! How hard can it be to make a gingerbread house? Never before, but <sighs> let's give it a go. Hi, I'm Sally from Sally's Baking Addiction, and today I'm showing you how to make a homemade gingerbread house. First step is to whisk your dry ingredients together. You'll need flour, baking soda, salt, and some spices. For the wet ingredients, you'll need butter, brown sugar, molasses, one egg, and some water. Then you'll mix the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. I've never baked before in my entire life. Well, tell a lie, I used to help my mum after she'd bake and I'd lick the bowl. My mum used to mix the sugar and the butter by hand. Maybe I should do that to start off with, just get the big lumps out. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh my God, this is like tar, isn't it? Oh my days. Silly me, I should have used that as a big bowl because now I've got to try and get all this into there. So I have put that in the bigger one, moved that to the smaller one, now I've got to add that to that apparently. Smell the old thing burning. Something don't smell right. Mm. We'll just keep going until it catches fire. The cookie dough is a little sticky, so divide it in two, flatten into discs, wrap each disc in plastic wrap, and refrigerate for two hours. Not much in our fridge at the moment. Put that there and that there and just leave them there for a couple of hours. In the meantime, I'm gonna wash and wipe up because this looks a mess. So here we have the gingerbread template. So we'll cut round there. I shall leave a link to Sally's Baking Addiction in, down in the description box and there are templates where you can cut them out like I've just done. After the cookie dough has chilled, roll it out to be about a quarter inch thick and use my gingerbread house PDF for the shape. I find it best to roll this cookie dough out in between two pieces of parchment paper. This is a very sticky cookie dough and I just find that in between two pieces of parchment is the easiest. She makes it look so easy on her videos. <laughs> Place the pieces on a lined baking sheet. Touch up the edges if needed, then bake at 350. It's not that bloody easy. <laughs> but I carry on.
No. So that's it, they're in the oven, so I'm just gonna sort out the butter and whatever else goes with it. <laughs> that's the hard part. You can tell I'm no bake because I should have done that in the big bowl and then added the, the sugar to that, not the other way around. Oh well, this is me. Better check the oven. Put that together. You can see the holes there. <laughs> I think it's going to be a bit of a wonky one. <laughs> Two tools I highly recommend for your gingerbread house are a squeeze bottle for the royal icing for constructing the gingerbread house and a piping bag fitted with a star tip for decoration. it's easier to assemble the chimney separately and then add it on top of the house. Don't ask me what happened to the chimney. No, don't, don't ask. You don't want to know. I'm trying to I'm I'm try, I'm I'm trying to put snow on the on the roof. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. If there's any bakers out there, they're probably going, "What is she doing?" And my answer would be, "I have no idea." I'm trying this thing again, like I did this morning, but with buttercream. There we go. I got it on there, I think. I think. Now. you do you just don't eat it you know because it's not good it's just you know it's not a good thing to eat because I wouldn't do such a thing so 
that was one of my challenges was to make a gingerbread house now it should have been a challenge with Richard to see who could make the best one but no, I haven't been eating it <laughs> um, anyway It's gonna collapse. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs>